Yo, what's up? If you want to be a YouTuber, you can't be born. But that's exactly what these YouTubers are. Today, you're going to meet some YouTubers who sound like they hate making YouTube videos and they want to quit. You're going to see some YouTubers who make videos that even your three-year-old brother would be bored watching. And you're going to see a lot more. After we look at each of these YouTubers, we're going to decide who really is the most boring YouTuber ever. On my channel, we try to clean up the bad content on YouTube. So if you want to help me make YouTube a better place, click subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's completely fine. Just sit back and enjoy my videos. It was September 18th, and I was thinking of what video I wanted to make next. So I went on YouTube to search. I didn't want to talk about 3 a.m. YouTubers. I didn't want to talk about the people who scam on YouTube shorts. I wanted to find something different, something that you've never seen before. After six hours of searching, just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, I found this. Painting it now. Why are you trying? What? And I was putting it in a cucumber. Why? What am I watching? This random dude just sits there and says what he sees on the screen. I went to his channel and it's all YouTube shorts of him reacting to popular videos. Let's choose a random video by him to make sure he's not super boring. How about this one? Oh my goodness, what are those eyes? This beautiful drawing ruined. So you're telling me that he just sets his phone up to record himself, he watches the clip, and then he reacts to it, and then boom, he gets a million views. Surfing Boy was the first YouTuber that I found for this video, and I didn't think it would get much worse than him, but I was very wrong. I wanted to find the most boring YouTuber right now, so I went to my comment section and I sorted my comments by the ones that mentioned boring. boring. And this is when I realized something weird was going on. There was one comment that had the word boring in it, boring and it was from Patricia Brown. The comment said, check out Ava's news, it's boring kinda. Who is Ava's news? Is this like a girl who posts news about YouTube or news, like what, what is this? Ava's news, okay, only 51 subscribers? The channel description says, hi everyone, it's me, Ava. Welcome to my channel, I hope you like it. Okay, Patricia Brown said that these videos are so boring, so let's see these videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Ava's News. And right now, I'm in Target shopping for school supplies. What? Am I on the right channel? This whole channel is a girl showing off her life. So why did Patricia Brown leave a comment on my video saying that Ava's News is a super boring channel? Theory number one. Patricia Brown is secretly Ava's News second account and she wanted me to show off her channel so she could get a bunch of views. This might be true, but I don't understand why she would do that. Also, I don't expect that Ava girl that we just saw to be watching my videos, so that's why I think the next theory is the one that's actually true. Theory number two. Patricia Brown is in the same class as Ava and she doesn't like her. We saw the video about getting school supplies. I think Patricia Brown is classmates with Ava and she wanted me to expose Ava because she doesn't like her. If this is true, the next generation of humans are gonna be so messed up. After I went through all that, I needed to find an actual channel that was boring. I just got baited into looking at a little girl on YouTube. Okay, that, that did not sound right. Okay, let's just move on. As I was looking for more boring YouTubers, I found somebody that I completely forgot about. Lanky Box. When I got to their channel, I saw that they post almost 8 videos per day. What the, how did they, and each video is at least 10 minutes long. How are they doing that? And watch this, their videos are decent. Like, look at this. Today we are playing Extreme Hide and Seek Challenge in Roblox. We are going to see who is the winner of this Extreme Hide and Seek Challenge. So, so if they have decently edited videos, they post 10 times a day and each video is over 10 minutes, are they just like super hard workers or what? Nope. If that seems too good to be true, it's because it is. After you skip to about one minute into any of their videos, the video has no edits at all. That's how they do it. They make the start of the video super edited and super entertaining for all those little kids and then the rest of the video is just uncut gameplay and they're just talking. Wait, hold on. I just found something crazy. So when I was going through their channel, I looked at around 20 to 30 videos. I sped the videos up too because I couldn't sit there for hours watching that stupid stuff. It was probably like the 13th video or the 14th video that I watched where I went to the comment section for some reason and somebody commented and said, do you guys ever wonder how they upload eight videos per day? 
some of those replies were like random kids saying hi lanky box even though lanky box didn't even comment but there was a few replies that actually shocked me somebody said that lanky box takes clips from their old videos and mashes them together and to act like their new videos if that's true that's insane but the even more insane part about this is the fact that lanky box uploads these same videos over and over and over and nobody notices i've mentioned this before and it's literally worse now that video looks boring right when you search up lanky box why did he jump you see 10 more videos posted by lanky box that are the same exact thing as that one and most of them have millions and millions of views how do they get away with this this is so boring i went back to my comment section and i found a comment that told me to make the most boring youtuber video that's exactly what i'm doing right now but he told me that the martinez twins are the most boring youtubers ever martinez twins huh that's a name i've actually never heard before dang they have four million subscribers and the last time that they posted were two years ago are they really that boring to where people still remember them after two full years of not uploading let's watch this video it says 24 hours overnight in my brother's room that title already doesn't make any sense they said 24 hours and then they said overnight overnight is 12 hours 24 hours is not overnight they don't even oh my gosh yo what's up guys i'm emilio and today wow it's just me by myself first of all i hope you're doing great there's like no music no edits no cuts nothing it's just a camera recording somebody i mean that's fine we can't judge them yet for the whole rest of the video he just goes into his brother's closet and he just talks to the camera okay look at this best prank on family they cried so apparently he's gonna prank his family and act like he dies but he literally only has a fake gash in his arm <laughs> Don't call the police, don't call, no, 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 no. It's, yo! <laughs> Are you serious right now, bro? You serious? They posted a video that says speaking only Spanish for 24 hours. What type of video idea is that? What? They posted another video that says pretending to be my sister on Tinder gone wrong. Bro, that is so gross. And the fact that he made the profile picture a picture of his sister in a swimsuit is even weirder. A few hours went by and I couldn't find anything else for this video until I found this. I discovered one of the weirdest and most boring types of videos I've ever seen on YouTube. So this video says diaper change gotcha fart poop. Um, in my four years of trying to clean up YouTube, I have never ever seen a more stupid title on a video. Believe it or not, the video is actually worse than the title is. I feel like I should not be allowed to watch that. Thankfully, this video only has like 10,000 views and it doesn't have hundreds of thousands of views. But why do people watch this? That was probably the most boring video I've ever seen. It's literally a 2D animated character moving around every five seconds with two to three sound effects just thrown in there. I decided to search up Gotcha on YouTube. I wanted to find more videos like this and see if there's any more. And what I found made me want to quit YouTube. Can you please explain to me one thing that happened in that video? Nope. No, you can't because nothing no, 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 in that video, that video made, made sense. sense. Why was the intro longer than the video itself? Why was there just a baby crawling into another crib? Why did the character in the intro have no clothes on? The title of that video was, you're gonna tell me this isn't gotcha heat? What in the world is gotcha heat? 
It says it's a gross thing that these people make their characters do. Right when I figured that out, I knew I had to search up Gotcha Heat on YouTube just to make sure that there was no horrible videos, but I really didn't want to do it. I did not want to see these stupid little animated characters doing weird stuff to each other, but I ended up typing it in. The stuff that's popping up right here, people have been searching this stuff up. This video says Gotcha Baby Care, and this popped up after I searched up Gotcha Heat, and it looks like they're taking care of a Gotcha Baby or whatever this is. Let's just see what it is. This was literally an animation of a baby going to the bathroom and whatever the heck else just happened in this video, I don't even want to know. I didn't even want to look at anything else. I literally went to bed that night on the verge of tears because that was so bad. The next morning, I was just chilling. I kind of forgot about that gotcha stuff, thankfully. And I saw that somebody tweeted at me and they told me to look at the YouTuber Linksy. That's a pretty weird name, Linksy, uh, but I went to the channel and I found out that it's another one of those stupid people who just fake their videos. Like look at this video, they posted a video titled Sniper Wolf Forgot to Stop Recording. You know these type of videos? Yeah. I was kind of curious why one of you recommended it to me. I mean I've talked about these people a lot, so I ended up watching the video just to make sure and I actually found something I've never seen before. This Linksy dude starts off the video by saying, make sure you watch until the end because you're going to see a crazy clip. And then once he shows the clip, he keeps putting text on the screen that says keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. He keeps putting that text on the screen to try to convince his viewers to keep watching. Even he knows that his videos are boring, that's why he keeps adding that text. I posted a tweet on Twitter asking you if you knew any more boring YouTubers, and wow, there was a ton. One of you told me to search up Roblox text to speech videos, so I did, and this is what I found. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault you helped me so. Yeah, I wish I was never dating her. I'm going break up with her. Bro, these videos are literally text on a screen with a robot reading the text. How is that entertaining? Oh, oh why not Katie? I mean, yes. Oh. I'm okay. So who will- What is going on? The channel that posts these videos is Luca Roblox, and that's literally all they post. They post 40 minute videos of robots reading words on the screen, and these videos get tons of views too, like this is insane. And then I found a YouTuber that I couldn't believe was real. Somebody told me to look at Mazin. After I clicked on one of his videos though, I understood why you said he needed it to be in this video. Peaceful. Well, another day, another walk. <gasps> Huh? Uh, what are these? Huh? Uh. Are you serious? This dude has fake voices over his Minecraft gameplay? And you might be saying, DJ, how do you know it isn't his real voice? How do you know that's a fake voice? I went to his first ever video, and he had a different person talking over his Minecraft gameplay. Wow, what a lovely village. Mikey, how'd you find- So this dude just records his game and has other people talk to him? I've never seen that before. But who really is the most boring person on YouTube? We've seen so many boring videos today. All the way from Lankybox uploading 20 videos a day with recycled videos to those stupid gotcha heat videos that are just disgusting. There are so many boring YouTubers, but the most boring of them all, in my opinion, has to be those barely edited gotcha character videos where the character is literally standing there with text above their head. It's even worse because some of those videos get millions of views. How? It's literally just a 2D character sitting there with text on the screen. Hopefully the YouTubers that we talked about today see this video that I just made and they realize that they need to step up their content a bit. I mean, if you get featured in a most boring YouTuber video, boring. you have to know something's wrong with you, right?